Thank you, Matt. Now 643 here on this Thursday. Northwestern Energy held its electricity supply resource planning meeting uh, yesterday. And officials talked about where their energy supply would come from in the future. MTN's Morgan Davies has more from the meeting in Butte. Northwestern Energy used their presentation to talk about renewable energy resources. They also showed how those renewable resources needed to be partnered with their other energy sources to make sure they can power Montana. It also allows us an opportunity to talk about um, our customers' future needs and the types of resources that we're going to use to meet those needs. According to Northwestern, wind power is the largest source of renewable energy. However, there are gaps with all renewable resources. Our portfolio of uh, renewable resources, uh, which are primarily wind, which are variable in their generation, um, we also need to have resources available to kind of make up when they um, change their production. Those other sources of energy come from places like Coal Strip and Basin Creek Generation Station. There has been some criticism towards the company for their use of thermal energy. But after the presentation, the Electric Technical Advisory Committee felt that they were taking a good step. You turn the light switch on, something happens. Um, and I think the um, future has a lot to do with renewable energy, but it has to be feathered in. It has to transition in to the existing grid, and that's going to take some time. Of course, another large concern is the future of Coal Strip. Northwestern Energy is contracted with the plan through 2040. However, ETAC wants to make sure a plan is in place for when that day comes. The coal strip, we know, is probably, for market reasons, uh, seeing, seeing the end of its uh, useful life. And that might be another 10 or 15 years, but it's time to start planning for how to fill in behind. And I think there's a lot of opportunity. Northwestern says they plan to hold another public meeting like this one in the near future. Reporting in Butte, Morgan Davies, MTN News.